First, as to Professor Turley's point about the end of it would be the end of federalism. Whether or not it would be the end of federalism, it would be the functional end of the enumerated powers scheme that is one of the central features of federalism. Federalism is based not only on states having independent rights or powers, but it's based on Congress having limited and enumerated powers. And if after this um, there is no justiciable limit on Congress's power, then that part of the constitutional scheme is gone. And the Supreme Court has said repeatedly that that is an essential part, that any, any ruling that would lead to that outcome cannot be a correct ruling. There's, there, that's a reductio ad absurdum of any argument that would lead to that outcome. And, and the only other point I would make is that, you know, I think Professor Freed has, in his testimony and again in today, he's basically conceded the basic claim that if Congress can make you buy this, then they can make you buy anything. Now, he hasn't conceded the claim that they can make you eat anything that you buy. <laughs> but in his testimony, he says, and he affirmed it again today, that they can make you buy a gym membership. They can't make you go to the gym. Um, well, that may not be everything because they can't make you go to the gym, but it's a whole heck of a lot. And I think that people would really, really be surprised that Congress, that there's nothing improper uh, that under the Commerce Clause, and that the, let me just get back to first principles here, that the power of Congress to regulate commerce among the several states that takes place between one state and another goes all the way down to make you, the individual person, buy a gym membership at your gym, that that includes that power. That is a stretch, and that's a stretch that would end the doctrine of enumerated powers. I, 